And you're welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're joined by our first guest, who is a very notable name in the Nollywood space. Now, he's one name that you cannot but recognize wherever it is being mentioned. He's a Nigeria producer, director, distributor. He's a filmmaker in totality. And of course, his name is Chico Ejiro. It's a delight to have you, sir. Thank you very much. It's an honor because I feel like, you know, I grew up hearing your name. Wow. And here I am, <laughs> sitting beside you and interviewing you. Well done and thank for all you've done for Thank Nollywood. You very much. Let's yeah. talk about the very beginning, you know, when, before Nollywood mm. became. Nollywood that it is today. At the time when you joined the film industry, what was it like? Mm, tough, difficult, and a uh, lot of things were not in place. Uh, but as time got today, we are progressing and we are happy about it. Uh, far back like 1987, 85. Anyway, I studied agriculture in school. So, but I just developed this interest uh, in entertainment. Mm. So, what, what, how, what sparked your interest My in that? Oh, brilliant. And I've been with uh, NT for quite a while and uh, just want to follow his footsteps. And then, um, where am I today? All right, mm -hmm. let's look at can you remotely remember your very first film? If I tell you my first film, you won't believe it. Which so, you have a movie called Aye Mali. Oh, with wow. Yaya Rimbu, Jide Kosoko, Baba Utulu. Because I was working with Jide Kosoko and then uh, Shola Deemo and then. Uh, Close friends, and they took me to set as a young boy, and that's how I was working with the robot industry. Wow. A lot of people don't know that. So, your <laughs> first movie was Aye Male. A Yoruba movie. A Yoruba movie. Mm. So, how did you now switch from doing a Yoruba movie uh, to doing I've been English with movie? the English family from time. My days with NTA Ripples, and then to Mega Fortune. You must. Do you have know about Mega Fortune? I don't even know if I was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, this I'm was around 1992. Uh, yeah, I was still a little child then. Regina Ramzinoa, um, Patata, a couple of other big actors today. Liz Benson, it's called Mega Fortune, NTA Network. What um, was the, back, back in the day, you know, mm. we still call, we'll do a comparison to what we have now, but back in the day, what was the procedure for getting into film? I know that, you know, I You just have to study acting or have experience in acting film making but nowadays you can just come from anywhere once you have the talent it's like the, it's like the music scene once you can sing anything and you can have the beats and put it together you are a star um, back in the days you have to work hard work hard you know when you look now at the nollywood industry for you know from the perspective of some, someone who was one of you were there when it all started yeah. what are some of the feelings you experience when you look at it now mm, i'm happy number one we are progressing from that point in terms of technicality, picture-wise, ability to act. But uh, there's one at disadvantage, and I believe we have better stories then that, than now. Why so? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, people are in a hurry to make money now. So if you agree with me, Nollywood then, fantastic story. But technicality, maybe poor. But now, bad story, better technicality, and if it's well um, produced, you can make some good money. Yeah. yeah. So um, right now in this day and age, we know that people use like five days, one week to shoot a film. No, nobody use five days anymore. Okay, so back days they use five days. Back in now, the day, now is one week, seven months, days. You can use a month. I know there are some sets that. No, no, no. See, go. okay. <laughs> see, when you talk about Nollywood, you have different type of Nollywood. You have those use with those small, even with their phone and shoot those short, short, small movies. You have those who do big pictures, like me. I just finished shooting a movie called Nine Boss to Lagos, like the Moabudus, MME Song, the EYs, 30 Days in Atlanta, Wedding Party. They use month, like a month or two to shoot it, because you are talking of a budget of about 50 million now. So you can just uh, shoot a movie of 50 million for five days. But you have those, what they call the pa pa movies. You just do pa 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 you sit down there, you stand there, blah, blah, blah. And some of them make good money too, like Aki and Popo, those type of movies, you know. Mm. Okay. They, make, they make close to 100 million. Back in the days. Back in the days, yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's look at mm. the industry now. Mm. Apart from the fact that you don't like, you feel that we can tell better stories, yeah. what are some of the other technicalities that, that we need to work on and we need to improve in this day and age? Mm, number one, the problem we have in Hollywood is uh, distribution. We don't have enough theaters. We don't have enough outlets to market our movies, to distribute our movies. That's the key. It's like you taking a loan from a bank, or you can borrow money from an uncle. How will you pay back distribution? Then ability of we also have 
problem with some still technicality in terms of manpower of um, the right hand to do some jobs for you. Uh -huh. We have a problem of telling our, presenting our story in a, in a good form, in a better way for people to understand the actors. But we are going, uh, Hollywood has been there over 100 years. We are less than 50 years. And, and we've done well, if I must say. Well. I mean, we've added value yes. to the Nigerian economy. We've added value to culture and value to the society. Very true. So you cannot take it away from that. We um, can't. Nollywood when, is when, a very... When there was a time when uh, President Kabila of Congo was campaigning to be stuff like that. He has to use the new name Nollywood Igwe to campaign to see that. There was a time when Greta Dominic and some couple of stars, they took them to Zimbabwe and then Malawi to go and campaign to, to, for a project that the country wants to do to see how big it's Nollywood. And you heard about um, Lionheart of Genevieve doing very well too, so it's like that. So that's why in our best. We are not there. But we will really come a long way, you know. Yeah, back too. in the day, if you look back, do you even watch some of the movies we used to do back in the day mm. and have a good laugh when mm. you watch maybe the disappearance scene mm. or those things well, of witchcraft? Too, now. You must start from somewhere. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but I think it's cute to see when you look mm. back and you realize, oh, we have, mm. we've actually come a really long way. We're, mm. we're a lot more uh, professional and more technical. There's yeah. so much mm. more we need to learn, however. Mm. I was going to, I'm glad that you mentioned distribution and cinemas. Mm. There's a lot of drama surrounding films and cinemas. I, I was wondering if you can break it down to us. People will tell you, oh, you know, to get the film to cinema, it's a problem. Okay, number one, uh, in, in, when you go to cinemas, number one, I, as I said, it's not a five days movie. It's a big budget movie. Everything has to be tight. Everything has to be together. So they, they will look at your movie to see if it's good enough in terms of picture, audio, the network. Because you, you want to have like, gen, like my own movie, now, Nine Boss to Lagos, and Genesis is my distributor. You have film one, silver, but all of them will come together to distribute the movie, okay? Um, but if film is not good, they will not take it, they will not touch it. But minus that, you have to do big time publicity. Like, I'm going to do a lot of billboard, BRT stuff like that to make sure I can get the audience, the awareness for people to come and watch the movie. Let's talk about piracy. It's unfortunate that that's big, one big, problem. Big problem, big problem, big problem. Has this problem always been there? Been there, still there, and tomorrow too. How, is there any way to come back um, to this? If, 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 at times even drive, through the hold up, you will see those um, pirated new so-called movies. Okay. And, and you know, there's no law for it to say um, what happened to the people. You just, you just pay 5,000 or 20,000, you're off the hook, so it's very, very painful. And uh, there's no government policy for now on it. And uh, even the time, at the time, the police people won't tell you that, the law enforcement people will tell you that uh, that's what they won't watch. So because I they can't to afford to pay to go to the cinema. cinema and stuff like that. It's not good for us. We are losing so much money and we are not making money. So no. who is to blame for that, you know? Policy. Mm, okay. The government have to come with a policy for people like that to be punished. All right. Now let's look at you and what you've been up to. Your okay. name has been ringing from a very long I thank time. thank God. Now God had a thank. It's not even <laughs> mm. That's your life you give him yes, the glory. Yes. It's by his grace. And we know that you've been working on a lot. So, yeah. you know, what are we expecting next from you? Okay, I have a new movie I just shot. Uh, and it's coming up on, on Easter day. Oh, it's called Ninth Post to Lagos. Any sneak peek of what I, to expect? Yes, I, 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 I have it here, but I hope uh, the studio will play it. And, um, okay, I mm, think we have the trailer that, for that, Night, Boss, it, to Night Boss to Lagos. So let's check it out, um, and we'll mm, come back and speak some more with Chico mm. Ejero. And that is a snippet of what to expect from Nightbox to Lagos, which is a recent project you just did launching on Easter Day. Let's yeah. talk about, you know, the technicalities. What were some of the challenges you experienced filming Okay, that? like you can see Peter Ducci. I had to travel to Inugu to shoot him. My uncle said, Chico, I can't come to Lagos. I, I don't want to fly. And I had to travel down to Inugu to shoot him. Because I want to have this cut across stuff. And I want to have people to feel, people from the East, people in Lagos and stuff like that. Even the musicians, you can see more with me there speaking correct pidgin english Worry pidgin. Worry girl you know uh, can see uh, mona lisa chinda the lagos top girl and stuff like that so we hope to succeed we hope to make it we hope people will like it before i let you go there's yeah. a concept of old nollywood new nollywood what are your thoughts on this um this is the see, <laughs> they keep asking this question <laughs> in entertainment i don't think there's old and new uh, we're all one uh, when it comes to creativity, it's, see, it's like uh, Carlos Santana, we come with Mariana. One 
uh, is it the, uh, the uh, Grammy Awards in 1972, came back 30 years later to win it. Is that old on you? No. <laughs> Two Faced, see, they sing to you today. True. Is that old on you? Uncle Peter Doche, see, they act it today. Is that old on you? So you can say, you cannot just rest creativity to say this one old, this one new. You know, it's like that. All right. I have to thank my lab brother, Zebedee you know, <laughs> for supporting me. Oh. That's not been easy. I have to thank my friend, too, Chief Bamidele of Revolutionary Plus. He has been supporting me, too. So a lot of people like that have been supporting me. I have to thank them. Brilliant. I have to thank Wazobi Asef for bringing me here, too. Thank you so much for <laughs> joining us. We must all continually support Nollywood to be mm. able to tell the best of our stories, not just to Africa, but to the world. It's a delight to have mm. you. And all the best with your movie premiering on on Easter Day. Easter Day. Easter Day. You people have to be there. We Otherwise, <laughs> Yawa go gas. We will come. So that Yawa no go gas. gas. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.